The ban list did a number on Christron Citri to two, Recycler to two, Controller to two, on top of Impact to two, and Rion to two. We are still playing Christrons. We're gonna play it post ban list tournament winning from C. Pererzo. Let's go, Christrons. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. Thank you, C. Pererzo, for this deck idea. He got first place in a community event. I believe it was a battle phase event, so good job to C. Pererzo. Now, the deck was a little bit different than mine. I added in a Quan and a Cockadoodle-Doo. He instead played a Tuna, which is a very good option for you to use, as it will, on summon, activate to summon a Pike from your deck. So if you're missing a Pike, you definitely want to play a Tuna because the Pike is replacing the Scrap Recycler and the Undyne for consistency. So let's read what the Pike does. On summon, you will discard a water to search for a level three water. So this is the way to get your Thisfern in the graveyard or search for a Thisfern. That is amazing. That's basically what the Undyne and the Scrap Recycler were helping you do, but from your deck. So now the Pike will, instead of sending the Thisfern from the deck to the grave, He'll add it from the deck to the hand. So Pike, really good. And since Pike is a level four, that could help out to with the making a turn one Black Rose. You could also make a turn one Brionic or Coral Dragon if you summon a Citri with the Sulfonir. We're also using level duplication. This will allow us to reveal a monster, then change the level of a monster on the field. So what I really like about Cockadoodle Do is it's an extra tuner. It's like a wielder. If you're missing wielder, play Cockadoodle Do. You special summon this. If your opponent controls a monster, then it becomes level four as a tuner. Then you could normal summon a Thisvern or a Smiger. You're gonna Black Rose the fields. And then you're gonna activate the Thisvern in the grave to search for yourself in here, and you're good. Turn one, special Cockadoodle Do as a level three instead. If they don't control a monster and you don't control a monster, it summons as a three. If they control a monster, it summons as a four. So either or, you're making plays as you could then make a turn one Coral Dragon if you want to. Because we only have Citri and Rion as our Christron tuners, in addition to Quan, to be fair, it is so important to make sure you make the most use out of Rion because Rion is going to recycle itself back in the deck. Rion is gonna use your Banish Pile to then summon it on the field to synchro during your opponent's turn to go back in the deck. And that's gonna be the main way to Keep reusing your tuners. Otherwise, if you focus so much on Citri, which was the main way to play Christrons before the nerf, you're gonna quickly, very quickly run out of your tuners. Amatrix being destroyed is also another good way to reuse your tuners. If your Citri or your Rion goes to the graveyard, you do want to use your Amatrix when destroyed to summon them back on the field. Powered and Zectron wasn't too popular recently, previously before the ban list, but now we gotta play it because of the Pike being level four. The Citri will special summon the Pike during your opponent's turn. You make a Powered and Zectron. You're protected the entire turn. You cannot be lethaled. You take zero damage and the Zectron itself cannot be destroyed at all. Without getting too much into it, is the deck still good? Well, it did very well in an event. We're gonna see in more Duel Links meta events how well the deck stands up. There are also other ways to play this deck. There's so many different ways to play it. You'll see more of Christrons from me in the near future now that it is the underdog. I'm more willing to want to play it. And the deck still very easily sets up a turn one with a Citri or a Rion to protect you with an Amatrix or a Powered Insectron. And sometimes you just don't even want to end the field with a Citri or a Rion. You could just have Sulfonir destroy itself, then resummon itself from the deck onto the field. So then when it gets destroyed, it will float into another monster. That's another form of protection instead of forcing out an Amatrix or a Powered Insectron. You still easily make all of these synchros. You could easily one turn kill with the Brionic and the Coral Dragon. You could still make Quarion very easily. This deck is still nuts. Bob the Low with the Prime, thank you. Pepe Jam missed the concert because of a uh, blank. I can't say it because this could be on YouTube. Thank you, Pork Ropak. I'm sorry to hear that. Frankie Zilla, Prime on 16 months. Eight months away from Ascendant, Pog, thank you so much. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Summon this fern, then wield her, then get poppin', or we could try to make plays off of this first. Let's see where this goes. We are so limited with our regular Christrons. The restrictions are real. Let's do this. So the... Get wheeled in. Get wheeled in. Focus. Hey! Not Q. See what happens when we summon the Citri. Okay. The graveyard is our fuel. Okay. Time to battle. Time to battle. The Amatrix is at 1500D. We could summon a Samurai. Sam D. Sam D. Let's go. Change our mind. Let's go. Come forth. We only have one of the Mermail SR. Well, you could play an Abyss to help search it. That could help. Wielder be wielded in the power. Grab a Rosenix if we want. Sulf. Get Sulf in. Get Pop in. Get Summon in. Special the Wielder. Brionic. Wielder, get poppin'. I my monster's effect. Grab an entry. His back row's feeling mighty dead to me. I my monster's effect. Back to the hand. Open field. Lethal. Post. Banlist. Christrons. Nice. Pike Smiger. Okay, to stop this deck, we need to Black Rose the field. We need to wipe it up. Wipe it up. Wipe it up. Get wiping. I don't even know what that Arrow Mage does. That's a crap a mage. Get wielded. In. Okay. We are duping. That's a Black Rose. Got him. Now he's done. Cutscene. The deck still very easily summons a Black Rose, wipes the fields. Let's get to it. Let's go. Solomon coming? No. Activate. I knew it. I knew you were a fool. Let's go, let's go. Wipe it. Now we grab the... Impact would have been nice to grab, but we'll grab Entry instead. Entry is not really good to set because it's only activatable if we have a Citri or Rion in the grave and then a Rion or Citri in the hand, which we only play two of. It's going to be incredibly rare to even have activatable. Okay. This Vern. Nice. Nice. Very nice. If the wielder wasn't a wielder, then you know what we would be using? Cockatiss. 
Cock, not cockatish. Cock a doodle do. Cock a doodle do. Would be good. Cock a doodle do. Special summon it. They're both. I think cock a doodle do might be a cheaper card to play. So do consider the cock a doodle do. Well, we don't. We don't. Blessed wins. Now, normally, Rosanix would be banished to summon a token to synchro into the token and draw a card and make a Sam D. But we want the power of the Coral Dragon to keep on being powerful. So, what we're going to do instead. Get poppin'. Turtle, turtle. Turtle, get poppin'. Let's go. We got here. If this card is sent to the Greer Gain, I, I don't, I don't want to know what you do. Don't tell me what you do. Don't do anything. Just stop. Let's go. Tis a night time to make my move. Draw. Let the fun Be a tuneful princess is free to play. It is from Mako. It is a good third abyss pike. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Here I go. It's my turn. I draw. Citri is here. Give me something to discard. Oh no. Pop it. Pike. Let's go, let's go. No mercy. Boom. Okay, we actually could have sent a this Vern. We could have searched for a Sulfoneer. There's no way he could win, so we're just hoping he does not surrender before we make them plays. Alrighty. Let's get to it. Pop it. And if he allows me to show you, what you do is with the Thisfern that you send to the deck with the effect of the entry, you then get to banish it and search it. So this is where we would send the Thisfern targeting to make level three, but then we don't make the Sam D. We would have to make something else. Let's go. Get piking. Cool. I think. Maybe. This Vern. Search for a... We'll search for a turtle. What opens up the best plays with Christrons now? It's really awkward. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to summon a Smiger. And the Smiger is going to pop itself. We're going to protect the Pike. The Pike's going to be protected with the Citri. Okay. We're changing things up. We are changing things up. Let's go. Interesting. Interesting plays. What can we do with the Pike if it's left up? Maybe instead of the Turtle, we should be sending a Rosanix in case we want to power in Zectron. Just to give the option. The turtle is a more aggressive play for a follow-up, but the Rosanix gives us the option to make a powered in Zectron instead. We'll see if we pay the ultimate price. Gale the Reduce. 
New box leaks should be tonight. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's go, Rakiri. Crow wasted his cutscene on the wrong Blackwing. What the heck? Crack of Dawn. Yep. Yep. See, let's just do this. Let's go. Activates. He should have 6,000 damage over the pike, unless he is a fool. So, Powered and Zektron setup would have been better if we expected the unexpected, which we have not seen something like this the entire day. But if we wanted to be extra protective, which I guess we could have, should have done, Powered and Zektron would stop this from being lethal. But he's probably going to pop the pike, and then that's not going to be a problem. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Sulfonir. You end your turn. That's it. That's it. That's it. Archer. We Q? Are we Q? Are we Q? That's a Black Rose. That is a certified Black Rose. We are Black Rosen. Come forth, Black Rose. Could Query on if we want to also? Lance, you're lancing. What do we want to summon off of it? So I guess we're not doing that. We're just going to summon a Sulfonir. Don't worry about it. We're still buds. I'll hold up my end, so I'll never let the team down. 